welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Anne Matee, and today we're going to take a look at sideline footwork. Okay, so Jennifer has agreed to help us out today, and we're talking about the sideline footwork on the reformer for um, walking, running training. So. Because of the height of her hips, we've brought this foot bar down to its lowest um, position. So Jen, if you put your foot on the front of the reformer foot bar here, you can see that her ankle, her knee, and her hip are all in the same alignment. And that's really what we're looking for because if you're standing and running, that's what's hopefully happening. So her job is to keep her knee really stable and not let it fall and lift. So we've put her in her side-lying position that you know how to do. We've used a posture pillow, to, um, and we kind of laid it on its side and gave it a nice crease so she has a, her head is in alignment. It's not too low, not too high. And then we're going to put her in her side-lying position with her hips stacked and her shoulders over. I always give the cue of um, you're like a foosball player. Sometimes this works for athletes, like where they have a pull right through them. Top and bottom, you can use any cue you like, but sometimes athletes like that one. <laughs> so then, Jennifer, you're just gonna start to press out and in. And you guys can use any spring tension you like. Here I have her on a red and a blue because it's just one leg. So not too heavy, not too hard for her to start feeling that nice reach. And you see how her toes are off? That's totally fine. You want her whole foot to be supported so where she is right now is great. She can feel this space between her first and second toe all the way through her heel. And she's really reaching in. The bottom leg is just tucked out of the way. Sometimes people don't know where to put their leg, but that's good. As long as she keeps her foosball player pole through here, she's fine. So she'll do one more and she'll come back in. So she has this nice reaching quality. It starts to turn on the back line of the leg, the hamstring and the glute. So now this next version I got from Elizabeth Larkham, who's also on her site. And Jennifer's gonna bring her foot way back. So Elizabeth first taught this for hip and knee replacements, but I think it's really effective for walkers and runners, athletes, um, to feel some of the similar things. So as she starts to press out, you notice her heel can't reach. But as she straightens, her heel's looking, searching for the bar. So she's gonna bend her knee. And again, ankle, knee, hip. You're gonna keep watching that that's in alignment. To get the carriage all the way in, she has to lift her heel. So as she presses out, her, foot bar, her heel is searching for the foot bar. And then her knee comes forward. Don't let it dip or lift up. So as she's going back and forth, she feels the contraction of the hamstring, then the glute, and that contraction of the back of the leg is gonna open the front of the leg. So depending on how tight your runner is, this may feel pretty extreme. And you're gonna really watch their hips because they really might wanna let them fall back. So you really keep them in line. And she can really reach and feel that sitting bone to heel connection. And just do one more. She's keeping her upper body nice and relaxed. And every time you press out, tell them it's like a little bit of secret ab work. She has to pull her belly in to keep supporting this. So it's kind of two in one, right? Which you always want to be efficient. So a little deep belly and lots of leg. So we've got her foot and leg really in good alignment. Go ahead and bring your foot back to your starting position here. So you're going to remind them of this position because now we kind of take this exercise and ramp it up by using the leg and straps. So for Jennifer, I'm going to take a weight off. I'm going to take the blue spring off so she just has the red. And you just are going to decide depending on the strength of your athlete. Let's use this top strap. We'll use the big loop. And so you're going to warn the person. She's going to use her bottom foot to support her as we put this in. And she is going to look for that same exact alignment. So she has to, and you can help them, support their hip. She's going to bring her leg all the way out, right? So once she's here, you look at her foot. Make sure it's not sickling out or up. You want this nice flat foot, just as she was standing on the foot bar a moment ago. So you're going to remind her of what that felt like to have the support. She's going to bend her knee to 90. You're gonna really be watching alignment. This cable line will be right in front of her shin. That's perfect. And then when you stand into it, she's gonna have the same feeling in the back of the leg, right? Mm -hmm. As she had in the first one. So inhale, slow bend, and you're really watching that her knee doesn't drop. 
Exhale, press strong. Good, and you're really gonna watch for turnout here because they're most likely gonna wanna turn out to get more support, and you wanna keep that feeling of a nice flat foot. Does it feel all right? Yeah, that's right. And secret ab work, right? Transverse abdominal is gonna be pulling in the whole time. Every time she stands strong, and I can put my fingers on her low back to remind her to put, pull her belly into my fingers and do just one more. She feels the back of her hamstring, then the glute turning on, and slowly bend. Once she has her knee bent, she can take her bottom foot and kind of stabilize it back here on the wood, and then we can pop this out once she feels safe. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question you'd like answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or on our forum. See you next time, and never stop learning.